front foot push arch. Back. Put your shoulders down, chin up. Gentle bounce. And open. So it's demi elongé, a small elongé. Look, the arm not to do this. Look at my arm. Right there. You see? Small, demi elongé. That's all. 45 degrees. Look at the line. It match with the shape, the degree of my leg. You see? It match. Just that's it. Okay. Left. And. Let's do bottom on tendu. Let's do accent one, two, three, four, five, brush back, six, plie, seven, 
8. Reverse 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. To the side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. First position, 6, 7, 8. Plie, susu. Plie, susu. Plie, susu. Coup de pied, coup de pied, fifth. On the down. One, two, three, four, five. Rush, six, plie, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, plie, eight. Three, two, three, four, five. First position, six, seven, eight. Front, back, side, fifth. Coup de pied, coup de pied, finish. Ready? Accent out and in. bit more definition on those kuri pies. Right away, your pinky toe, put your pinky, little toes on top, of, on top of your ankle bone. Be there immediately. Don't look for it. You're done. Don't do anything extra. Position, position, tall. That's it. Mm-hmm. You want to eliminate anything extra, anything doesn't belong there, especially those little tiny movements. It's going to make, it's going to have a negative effect if you're going to do a classical variation. It's about purity. Anything doesn't belong there, eliminate. So all we see is perfection, okay? Starts with the class right here. Could it be a clear? It is what it is. One. Two, three, okay? Left.
Let's do. Let's do Bob Mangete, please. We do. N one, N two, N one, two, three. Same to the side. Five, N six, N coup de pied, back, N eight. Piquets, one, two, three, two, two, three, and balance one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back, two, and one, two, three. Side, and two, head up, in. PKs, bottom in. One, two, three, not there, rather there. One, two, three, let's see the wall in front. Side, side, in, and balance one. Toes, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And one, and two, and. Preparation. Emma, when you do balance while back, when the leg go to the back, you have to think. You have to move your thigh back. That's right. So from what I'm looking at, I feel there's a little bit disengagement from your knee. Make sure you don't think about your knee and your foot go back. Rather, your thigh, move your thigh back. Right. In the last moment, absolutely last second, the foot leaves ground. I need to see a little bit of your toes pushing. You see? My toes is going to scrape and a pushing, created that little articulation. Toes, yes. That's right. If there's a little dust, a little something in the back, the thing will be flare up because the articulation of your toes. Mm -hmm. Left. So now you okay? All right. Left side. And. Let's do Rondo Jean Batel. We do one, two, three, and four, and repeat five, six, seven, and eight, and 
Continue three. One, two, three. Two, two, three. And the five. And six. And seven. And eight. On the down. One, two. Look at my shoulders. Shoulder, shoulder, up, two. So forward, back, middle. Repeat, one, two, shoulder, shoulder, middle. One, two, three, two, two, three, five, six. You see I stopped back there? Seven, and brush eight. Pull the breath forward. Pull the breath back. Come up, add a two. Pull the breath back again. Grown round the jump. Forward. Pull the breath back. Come up. Air lunge. Finish. So I want to see. See now your flexibility is getting better. Good. I told you, uh, everyone, good for you. That's exactly what I was talking about. Good for you. Every inch you gain the elevation above 90, it translates to easier, 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 easier. I don't make this up, the scientific, just because the, it's the law of gravity. If you put your leg 180 degrees, you can be there for a long time, just because gravity takes no hold of that leg. Understand that 90 degrees is the worst place to be, because at 90, gravity takes most of hold of that leg. Okay, you want to do everything you can to get your leg above 90. Mm -hmm. All right. We got it, right? Okay. Ready? First position, keep Christina. And. Very end, your leg is tired. Make sure when you pull the bra back, it's gonna make it even more tired if you do this. Keep the bones square. You have much better control if your shoulders and your hips is lined up in a square. You can let go a few things. However, the placement of your hip cannot go. Um, Elena, show me. Everybody come watch for a second. Just wait, let them gather. Now.
and stay where it is. Mm -hmm. You see what happened, what I love about this is she isolated, it's okay to, to think this way, isolated her hips and her legs not to be attached or affected just because she did a beautiful pull the bra back. So what I see all the time is this, guys. You see, you open. This structure does not get affected just because you did a back bend. That does not mean your hips go forward. Your upper body is working on top of that structure, that correct structure. That's nice, Emma, good. Right, good job. Mm -hmm. Good, Natalia, that's it. And the, the, the beauty of showing your technique is when the torso comes up, not only you don't drop your leg, your leg actually comes higher when the torso comes up. And uh, to me, that indicates the, your technique is, is really in the right place. Yes, Christina, that's right. Mm -hmm. You have to use your thigh, everyone. A lot of teachers tell you, uh, a lot of people say, don't use your thigh. No, you have to. There's no way you can, use, you can do this step without engage and contraction of your thigh, no way. Okay, you have to use your leg. Of course, we have to use rotate out. Of course, I don't say you use this way. I never say that. You have to use it turned out, but do use your muscle. You cannot do this step properly and correctly if you don't engage your muscle. Left. Good, the better left side. Let's stretch your calf a little bit, please. Let's do. We do. Phone do front, phone do side, phone do back, brush, make sure the shoulder's back, open side. We do all air. One, two, one, two, three. Again, five, 
and six, and the seven. Eight. Only down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure this position exists, established. Eight. On the down. One, two, one, two, three, and one, two, and arabesque. And finish. So that Ekater area has to be there right away. One, two, and out, in. You see, don't linger anything. And on the way back, one, two. Look past the forearm. Left shoulders down. Mm -hmm. Establishing those positions immediately. You don't have any time to wait. It has to be clear, and then you can move to the next um, idea, okay? Ready? And. Wonderful. I encourage you to sp spend more time, not stop, but spend more time at the bottom of the fondue. Don't come up prematurely. You want it to do, it's two counts. One, two, three. You see? One, two, three. Two counts after coup de pied. One, two, three. Continue go down. You don't come up to, until two, two, three. So the idea is having the weight not only the weight of your body, but also your muscle engagement to create as deep a fondue as possible. And from, from there, I rebound out of there. Not prematurely. You want to hit the deep depth of the fondue. Then you can all your way up. It's going to pay off so beautifully when you go to the jump later on. Yeah, your legs will be there for you. Yes, Maria, that's it. That's right. Mm hmm. Down, down, down. Correct. Left. So now, left side. And.
to drop it out flat first. We do one, two, one, two, three. Octagon, five, six, seven, and uh, eight, and uh, one, two, and uh, three, four, three and four to the back, arm to the side. Then five, six, seven, and uh, eight. On relevant, one, two, one, two, three. Side, 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 side. And a plie second, plie front. Looking inside, six, seven, and a eight. And finish, uh, actually, seven and a front. So we'll have one, two, one, two, three. Side, 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 and a front and side and the side and back and one two three four five six back stay on relevant one two three side 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 and the back side side and front looking inside four five six seven sevens here look on top of your hand the head tilt to the right so the audience see your face while you're looking down. Mm -hmm. Ready? Okay, scratch your calf, stretch your calf. Naomi, when you, when you do, Naomi, when you do PT bottom on back, your head and your shoulders here. Look at your arm. Your arm should be right in front of your stomach, right there. So coordinate the head and shoulder in cooperation of your arm. Yes? And same thing when you're looking inside. Make sure your hand is absolutely perfect right outside your stomach and it's round. And that will make the apromon to make sense of the apromon. If, if the apromon doesn't make sense if the arm is not in the right place. Look, look when I look in, same thing, that far back. I look in. I look out, it's the same. My arm is absolutely the same place. That's look out, that's look in. Thank you, exactly, perfect, okay? But my correction to you is your arm has to be in place. Mm -hmm. Left.
the very end élangé. Students, you cannot just thinking about it. I know you all know we have to do this, but some of you, it's very visible. The idea is very clear. Some of you, I know you thought about it, but visually, in order for it to make sense, to have a, a remar remarkable idea in people's head, it has to be more than you think. Yeah, I, I, that's what I believe. It has to be more than you think. In this particular case, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's stretch. So Emma, we just do a leg on the bar, forward and back, ala sukang, to the leg, away from the leg. Arabesque, forward and back, leg off the bar, to cross the arabesque and punch it forward. Then we'll go to the left side. Ready? And. Good. Let's do. Let's do seven and eight. And one, two, three. Four. Keep arm to the side. And five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, and four. And five, six, seven, and eight. Left side. We do. And one. You open. And one, two, tongue, three, four. And plie, five, six, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, and four. And the five, six, lift, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, 
four, and derrier higher and finish. You ready? You clear? Yes. Elena, you, you, you got it? Yes, it's clear. All right. And. job. Stretch your cup. Let's do accent in and one and two and plie up in. Please, don't do this. When my leg goes to back with such an energy, which is great and needed, you need a little bit more, even more support from our rotator. Push forward and down while the leg is up. So Clara, a little bit more, show me a little bit more energy. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. So we do one, two, one, two, three. Side, side, and one, two, three. Back, two, and plie up and in. One, two, and one, two, three. Other side. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't kick anything, you guys. Okay? Yes, yes. You could cross it if you have to, Elena, okay? Let me take a ball away and drink some water.
So guys, find your unfast, okay? That's my unfast. So make sure you know. Annabelle, what, what's wrong with your right arm? Annabelle, do you see her? Her arm is always up like that. You see? Annabelle, what's wrong with your arm? You okay? I, I, as long as you're okay. Write to me later, it's okay. Okay. Put some ice on it, okay? And do what you can, please. When it's, when it's uh, in pain, you have to style back. The, the, okay, everyone, the sensation of pain is there for a reason, okay? The joints, the muscular pain is the reason. Very simply put, it's a message your body sent to you, tell you to be aware of those particular places. It's very easily interpret why we feel the pain, the muscle pain, the joint, what have you. Is for you to, your body tell you to pay attention to those areas and not to do things that will feel the pain, right? So it's, you have to respect, I always say you have to respect in all business, you have to respect those feelings if you want to get healed. If you want to have it healed quickly, you have to respect and pay attention to those sensations that your body took millions of years to develop those sensations. That you have to know it, okay? So do what you have to do, talk to your doctors if you have to, okay? So it, it needs to get better because I don't want to see you have your uh, arms like this all the time, okay? All right. Let's do a, uh, a quick adagio, please. We do one, two, cross it, same leg arm, on fast, three, four, five, plie six, seven, and add it to back, eight. Then we do one, eka de derio two, promenade three, four, come around devon, five, and six, seven, and eight. Left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, and six, party breath, seven, eight. Let's mark the music once, but uh, do the arms and uh, be accurate with the musicality, please. You can, mark, you can only mark the legs. Don't mark the arm and the musicality. Don't mark the party breath either.
bit slower. Like the first time. The second half a little too fast. Mm. Or you can do three if you want. Three, One, two. Three. You, you don't have to, just as long as you slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Especially the end, after promenade. Mm -hmm. This part is it. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? Nice and big, okay? You dance at home, especially some of you at home. That doesn't mean you have danced small. It doesn't translate that. Yeah? Ready? most difficult moment is actually from Alasigong to bring this hip in to come cross it devon. Like I use everything I have just to do this. It's like a magnet. You want to go to the other direction of a magnet. Right. Good, Emma. Don't be alarmed. You are using everything that you got. It's completely normal. It's normal. Because it's difficult and complex. It, it requires all body parts to work correctly at the same time. Yeah? Everybody, everybody, I'm talking about every part of your body have to do its job correctly in order for this movement to be nice. Watch, from here, my hip, it's gonna come back. You see? And look at my left arm. It's gonna come around to be the top of my head. In and around. That was nice. Um, Emma, can you show us one more time? Everybody come and take a look. This is a, a pretty much right. Mm -hmm. Good. It, it takes many years, you know, as all of us know, take many years of training, many years of training correctly in order for that to happen. But when you, when you perform to the normal audience, don't expect people is gonna stand up and give you a standing ovation just for doing that. But it's okay, we're not. Ballet is it's a humble art. We're not doing it for the instant praise. It's nothing like that, right? It's not like a rock concert. You have people screaming and, and yelling. It's not like that. You're, never gonna, you're really never going to get this kind of reaction. But that doesn't mean that we needed to uh, give up and all think too hard because we're doing the full ballet. Okay? Maybe this is a bit of a complicated uh, topic, but it is. Okay? We're, we're doing it for the art of ballet. In the way, you're not doing it for the instant grat gratification of acceptance or praise. 
but you will at one point, because ballet will appreciate you. And that's good enough, good enough for me as a teacher. Try it one more time. That was perfect. Let's do right side. Beautiful, Emma. Let's do the combination one more time. Right foot front. And. Good job, everyone. Very nice. Let's do. Let's do a tondu. On fast. We do. And fit, and fit, and brush, brush, in. And fit, and fit, and heel up and in. And one, and two, and one, two. Quilly pie, pas de bull, right, pas de bull, right, left. One, Two, brush, brush, in. Side, side, down, up, in. Back, two, one, two, three. Pas de bull. This time, right. Double period. And finish. Okay. So the first time, pas de bull, pas de bull. Second time, is one set of part of bread to fourth position, double period, finish, done. Ready? On fast, please. Right foot in front. This is a simple step right here. I feel like a lot of people are doing it wrong. Look at my heels. Pressure bounce back. So the speed of a go down and a come up is not even. I slow, come back up. It's like you pr pressing your hand on the spring. Little pressure and release. That's what I'm um, asking for. Right, good, good, good. 
Now, watch my foot, guys. Balance wall, look at my toes. Sweeping in, sweeping in. I don't just stop at back front. I go in, I go in. I need, I need to see your foot has this sweeping quality to it. Sweep, sweep, right. That's right, uh, Jin, the foot is doing great. But I feel like when you pass first position, you, you, your knee just ever slightly bend, Jin. Pull up and pushing down. Pushing down so you can pull, pull, pull up. Yes, like that, yes. Right. Don't let this knee touching together to bother you. you, you like for my leg, I'm a little bit hyperextended. Look at me. I have that much gap in between my heels. Now my knee is uh, stretched. If I put my heel together, I never really feel I can completely pull up. So therefore, look at me how I pass. I just give myself a little gap. That's a good trade-off for a very beautiful stretch lengthening leg. One thing I don't, I don't want you to do is you bend your knee like this. That's not helpful at all. Pushing down, pushing down to go back. Right. That's better. Yes, Clara, when you go to the back, come to the front, it's the same idea. I'm going to, using my heels, pushing down, and now I squeeze, come front. You don't have to do it uh, in, in the fast, with the speed, that quality has to be there, yeah? It can be done. It's actually easier because my leg is engaged. Left side. And. Let's do. From um, let's start from first position. Six, seven, and eight. We do one and two four times. Three and four. Five. Open six. Double seven. Single eight. To ekate derrier. Fondue one, two. Three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, double seven, eight. Fondue back, fondue side, fondue front, coupe. This time we, we're done. Mm -hmm. 
You have to feel like you're dancing on the clouds, but weighs a ton. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, right? How can you dance on the clouds, feel like so light? For example, this part of breast so delicate and everything, but you have to weight a ton. Because in all technique, the two things happen simultaneously. Because you appear to be, you appear to be light. You appear to be so delicate and articulate. But in order to appear that way, you cannot dance light and, and like a cloud. You have to be heavy and sturdy. Same thing, same subject we just talked about. Pass first position, round the jump. I'm gonna push him down. I'm gonna use the floor as a part, as my tool. The floor is, I'm gonna use the floor to help me to create a balance. You don't want to create a balance in ballet, this kind of balance, it's not. You have to be proactive to create a balance by doing digging deeper into the floor. I'm not even going to allow myself to have opportunity to go around. So I'm going to spend the entire dance fixing things. I don't want to fix it. I want to prevent it. I want to prevent it happen before it happens, the variables the things that we cannot control. One little thing is called balance. For example, I'm standing on one leg, I have the other do around the jump. How can I create stability without doing this? One of the things I just talked about, pushing down, pushing down, using the floor. And the fondue, don't come up prematurely. We talk about in the on the bar. Down on your balance. You see, I'm not wasting any energy to fix my balance. I created one already. You see? I created one by taking control of the combination. Let's try it. First position. And Okay, stretch the calf a little bit one more time. We're gonna play a little slower. Make the timing a difference. It's a double on air. Double, single. Not three together. And one, two. Not and one, and. No. And one, and two. Can uh, uh, Elena, when you do double and a single, look, look and leave the head. You see? Yeah. And the head. Yes, beautiful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. One more time. 
still right leg, okay? From first position, slow. Mm -hmm. And. Good job, you guys. Okay, let's warm up your ankle a little bit. So first combination, just the one saute. Play on eight, and one, two, three, four, again. Five, six, seven, eight, and second, I'm sorry, uh, uh, just one, eight, and one, two, three, four, second, two, three, four, fifth, two, three, four, two shots more, six, seven, eight, and jump into first position, two, three, four, Second, two, three, four. Fifth, two, three, four. Fifth, fifth, rest. So super simple combination. I want to see perfect two plies. You, you have to have a, I say you have to have a consciousness while you plie. Don't just plie and go. I want this, seven, eight, and one. I'm fully conscious to aware what am I doing. I don't just go like this. I, to, I go to plie. The whole duration of this simple saute, I'm fully aware where everything is. That's what I want you to be. Don't just bend your knee and start jumping. Plie, I know what's going on. You see? That's right. And you got to be patient. Everybody know how to jump. Little children, everybody. You go to the gym, you go to the workout center, everybody's jumping. You see, they're jumping, but not all kind of jump. All jump needs a plie. That plie has to be absolutely correct and thoughtful. I, I say this every single time. The only difference, three difference between all kind of dance and the different dance genre have different artistic requirements. For us, three things. Fifth position. Fifth position. Second, the idea of quality of plie. Third, rotation. That's it. If you take these three things away, the fifth position, plie, and rotation away, there's no difference between ballet and any other dance. There's no difference at all. Yeah? So there's a reason why it is there. Can I see? Let's go together. See, I, you too. Plie, okay? And.
That's it. Good job. If you're doing, if you do that, I'm actually pretty relaxed upper body. I'm, I don't hold like this. I'm actually pretty relaxed. As long as I just hold my arms, I let my leg to do it, to do the job, using clear to jump. Same idea, two changements. Plie eight, one changement. Plie four, one changement. Plie eight, two changements. Echappé. Then left side. Okay. Right foot front, everyone. Relax. Let's do plie on again eight chaussement one I'm sorry assembly eight and assembly one two three four come back five six seven eight double assembly one and two rela vent coup coup de pied five and six and jete sus plie left two three four and one two three four and one and two pas de bourre jete relevant One more time, one more time. I'll be a little bit more clear. One assembly, one assembly. And one, and two, jete. Three, and four, and three on the car. And five, and six, two, seven, and eight. And one, two, three, four, and two, two, three, Four and one and two, jete three and four, five and six, seven, hold. Let's mark music ones. Just want to make sure. Click maybe six, eight or something. One and or two, four. Thank you. on five, five and six. The two syncopated, two syncopated on shakards. Let's try it, please. Right foot back.
a seemingly easy combination. It's difficult to do it correctly. Assembly. Two feet hooked together as, as much as you can in the air before it lands. Assemble in the air without the sensation of cabriole in the air. One of the important aspects of this, guys, is two legs has to engage together, not one over the other. That becomes something else. Becomes cabriol, ballonet, everything. Doesn't look like awesome blood. 45 degrees, everything together in the air. Mm -hmm. In order for that to happen, guys, you have to push two legs at the same time. Not ball on one leg, only pushing the other. You have to push it down together in the air. Let's try one more time, then we're done. Ready. All right. I'm so out of breath. Uh, let's do river rounds. And afterwards, Emma, let me keep you a second. Okay, don't sign off. Yes, Emma? All right. Thank you, Miss Natasha. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi, Emma, how are you? A second. Can you say something again? Just take a Mr. Josh's fix so I can hear what you're saying. No? Can you say something again? Try one more time. Hi. Okay, wonderful. Emma, thank you. Uh, I'm, I was very happy to, to, uh, to hear that uh, you're gonna be signed up for this. And I hope this experience is, uh, is engaging for you. You know, although it's virtual, we've been doing virtual for a while, but I think you, if we do it correctly,